Today we will discuss how to create and utilize C application performance management universes. The administrator creates a universe by applying a team center filter to remove unrequired component data from the data set, leaving a team center universe tailored to the needs of a particular user or group. The administrator can create numerous universes to create a series of manageable spaces that users can easily switch between to make navigation of the enterprise environment easier for investigation. Alternatively, the administrator can use the same universe tool to ensure that specific user access is restricted as required by company security requirements. A universe consists of a name, which would be the unique identifier, a filter that defines the team center data set, and a list of users. These are the users with access to this universe. Team Center generates map data by sampling transaction traces. Therefore, Team Center has a record of every transaction path that passes through any component. If CEM is deployed, these transactions are named business transaction paths. Any transaction that is not recorded as a business transaction is recorded as an application transaction path. A transaction path filter identifies all components in all transaction paths that pass through a component with attribute values specified in the filter criteria. We will now take a look at a demonstration. In this demonstration, Ryan, an APM administrator, has been tasked with simplifying navigation for the new trade service application and restricting its contents. Once he has completed his task, he will notify Jill, a Level 2 Support Analyst, and Pete, a Level 1 Support Analyst, about the new universes. Ryan logs into APM Team Center as admin. Ryan has logged into Team Center Map View. Note he is currently in the Enterprise Universe. Our enterprise is not very big, but they can be huge. Expanding the filter by allows us to add a filter. The Business Service filter is used to filter based on business services created in CEM. Notice that we can save this filtered state as a universe. This can be done while in the Enterprise Universe. The Tixchange Business Service is filtered out of our view, leaving all of Trade Service. This filter view is saved as a custom universe. The Trade Service Universe now shows up in the Universes tab, along with some predefined universes. Some universes are created by default. A Cluster Universe is a universe created automatically that contains all components for a cluster. Cluster universes have name and a format host name components. Universe Enterprise includes all components in the enterprise environment. Use this universe as a starting point for creating universes. It is important to note that predefined universes cannot be deleted or modified. You can use a predefined universe as the basis of a new universe. Click Edit and Make Modifications, click Save As, and provide a new universe name. By editing the newly created Trade Service Universe, we can create more universes based on it. Notice we are back in the map view in the Trade Service Universe, which we are currently editing. We just want to view the web app transactions, so we remove the mobile app business services. Expanding the node shows us we are now viewing web app transactions. After confirming this is the view we want, we save the new universe as Trade Service Web App. We will need to create one more universe, Trade Service Mobile App. This time we remove the browser transactions. Expanding the nodes, we can see the transactions for mobile devices. After verifying the filter view, we save a new universe as Trade Service Mobile App. So far we have been concerned with universes for navigation. We will now set security to restrict the components of the enterprise environment that an individual user can view. 
by clicking on the plus sign on the APMR10 components in the Users and Groups column allows us to add and remove users and groups. Clicking on the trash can icon associated to level 1 support will remove this user group from this predefined universe. Click Save to save the changes. We will now add level 2 support group to the trade service universe. We want to give level 2 support group edit privileges to the trade service universe. By typing in the user or group, a match will pop up to select from. Selecting level 2 support adds it to the list of authorized users and groups. Click save to save the changes. And now we will add level 1 support group with read privileges and level 2 support group with write privileges to the trade service, mobile app, and trade service web app universes. Ryan has completed his task and will now notify Jill and Pete about the new universes. Jill logs into ATC to investigate the new universes she has been given access to. Jill sees she has access to the predefined universe APM EM02 and the three new trade service universes. She clicks on the dashboard icon to explore it in the trade service mobile app universe. Jill now explores the other universes assigned to her. The APM EM02 universe reveals the Traveler Portal application. She explores the Trade Service universe. Next, she explores the Trade Service Web App universe. Jill goes back to the Trade Service Mobile App universe. and then looks at the ATC map in the Trade Service Mobile App Universe. Jill has finished her investigation into the new universes and logs out. Pete, the Level 1 Analyst, logs into ATC to explore the two universes he has access to. He sees the ATC map view of the Trade Service Mobile App Universe. He now looks to see what other universes are available for him. Pete then expands some nodes to get a feel of what the Trade Service Web App universe looks like. Ryan has successfully created three universes, and Jill and Pete have investigated their respective universes.